Samatva Sanskrit, Samatva also rendered Samatvam or Samadha is the Hindu concept of equanimity. Its root is Sama Sama meaning, equal or even, Samya, meaning equal consideration towards all human beings, is a variant of the word. <laughs> Description Samatva occupies a high place in the Bhagavad Gita where it means even-mindedness or what would be called in English equanimity. Krishna in the context of metaphysical knowledge refers to equanimity when he tells Arjuna that all feelings are transitory and fleeting, Tanstatiksasva therefore ignore them for they have to be endured and that the wise are Narvayathayanti not tormented by these feelings he once again refers to even-mindedness in the context of Svadharma when Arjuna is told not to waver in the performance of his duty or shirk his duty, and to treat alike victory and defeat, gain and loss, pleasure and pain. For then he will not incur sin Therefore, Arjuna is told Yogesthar kuru karmani sanjatayak vadananjaya sajasidya samo bhutva samatvam yogusyat Perform your duty equipoised, O Arjuna, abandoning all attachment to success or failure. Such equanimity is called yoga. Bhagavad Gita 2.48 This sloka delineates the process of practicing karma yoga which is a part of human nature and promotes tranquility. Man reaches the ultimate state of unshakable stability through the constant practice of indifference to success and failure of actions. Action with selfish motive does not result in even-mindedness. In the context of karma yoga, Krishna tells Arjuna that the sages, by virtue of true knowledge, see with equal vision samadasina all beings of all castes and creed because the Atman is present in all bodies without any distinction v. and affirms that ihaiva tehita sago yesam samai southita mana that those whose minds are established in sameness and equanimity have already conquered the conditions of birth and death to be established in the eternal v. and, that, he is a perfect yogi who, by comparison to his own self, sees the true equality of all beings, in both, their happiness and their distress, O Arjuna." Bhagavad Gita Then for that yogi there remains nothing in this world which has a separate identity from him, and no pain whatsoever, conscious of all such experiences but not affected by them he works for others to be uplifted. Thus, Krishna harmonizes Sriyas personal salvation and Lakasamgraha good of the society by linking Sriyas with even-mindedness and Lakasamgraha with equal vision. Swami Chinmayananda while commenting on Isha Upanishad 6, which speaks about the wise man beholding all beings in the self, and the self in all beings, gives the meaning of samatva as, the sameness of mind, inward tranquility. The phrase, all beings, refers to the highest cosmic manifestation, and the phrase, the self in all beings refers to pure consciousness, the inmost Atman of all embodied souls. The principle of niskamakarma or the ideal of desireless and motiveless action, does not bind the yogi to act's consequences at the individual level, the yogi stays contented and even indifferent towards those very consequences, he knows that actions are not to be renounced, the fruits of actions alone are to be renounced. Once repulsion and action are removed what remains is samatva. All enjoyment is dependent on certain conditions being met, much enjoyment occurs because some accomplish goals, this may be highly relative and dependent. Expectations of any benefit, that can be of any material gain, according to Bhagavad Gita is removed from ourselves. Knowledge of ourselves is in balance, the fruits of actions are changeable, unnecessary, unreal, unimportant, they lack what can uplift, they aren't furthering dignity, love and happiness and are transitory physically, mostly unrelated to knowledge and the true self. The followers of Jainism consider the practice of samtava as sadhana because it is real human nature. They do not view samtava and dhyana as two varied aspects. According to them, these two are interdependent. Steadiness of the mind is reached by thinking about maiti, universal friendship, pramoda, emphasizing goodness, karuna, universal compassion, and majastha, indifference to sin of others. 
Mahavira had told Gautama that the nature of the soul is equanimity Bhagavati Sutra 9.386. Therefore, one who has samatva as his essential nature is called samayasara. In Gandhian aesthetics, samatva, understood as unity, equality, equanimity, balance, and harmony in different perspectives, is the very essence of sarvodya ideology. Topic. See also. Compassion section Hinduism. Dia. Karuna The Five Yamas of Yoga Atman Hinduism Chakra section The Seven Chakra System Ahimsa section Hinduism Metta Samadhana, related to the four means of liberation Sadhana Chatushtaya